The third step is to double space your paper. You can do that in one of three ways. In paragraph, you can use the shortcut and choose two. You can click and open up the paragraph dialog box and choose double. Or you can simply use the shortcut keys. Hold down control and press the number two. We will next complete the header. The header is only used if your paper goes to two or more pages. Double click at the very top of your page to open the header. The other option is to go into insert and click on header manually. Once we do that, you will see that page number is an option in the header and footer tools. Click once on page number, go to top of page, follow right, and choose the far right number. Once you click on that, the number one will appear with the cursor flashing to its left. Type your formal last name and one space. To get out of this, you can simply double click on the main part of your paper. The header will now go gray, and if you go to additional pages, you will notice that it will say Benson 2, Benson 3, Benson 4, etc. The last part is to use a heading. The heading is made up of four lines. The first is your formal name. Enter once and you will notice your page is automatically double spacing. The second line is the name of your instructor. Verify with your instructor how she or he would like the name to appear on your paper. I prefer my title, my first name, then my last name. Enter once and type the name of the class. Double check with your instructor on how you want the class to appear. Some prefer that the hour is also listed. Others do not. Enter once and add the date the paper is due. Start with the number of the day, spell the year, and then add the date. Notice there is one space between each item and no punctuation. Enter once, go to paragraph and choose the center function. This is where your title will be. And begin your paper here. The last and most important rule of MLA format is that your instructor may change any of these rules to suit her or his personal needs. Whenever an instructor assigns a paper in MLA format, you should always ask which aspects of MLA format you'll be required to follow. Good luck on your paper.